So now we're going to talk about how to find and write out domain and range when given logarithmic functions. So in our first example, we have g of x equals log of x minus 7 plus 5. Now when it comes to log, we have to be very careful where inside here it cannot equal to 0 nor negative number. So in this example we have x minus 7. So, x minus 7, anything that comes from it, it cannot equal to 0, nor it cannot be a negative number. So the only possible that it can be is positive number. So it has to be greater than 0. So anything from x minus 7 has to be greater than 0. So if that is true, then your function will be okay and it will work, especially on the calculator. Now, if I'm trying to figure out what x can be, so that x minus 7 we become a positive number or at least more than zero. All I gotta do is get x by itself. So now x is greater than positive seven. So what does that mean? Is that x can only be any number more than seven. So since this is x, this is for domain. So again, x can give me any number more than 7. So if it's more than 7, so it's going to start on the left and it goes to positive infinity. And our range now our range, if we were to talk about the graph usually the log function is like this. Now if we were to focus on the bottom half it has an arrow so we know that if it's going downward for the y value then we know that it's going to negative infinity that's the bottom part and then here even though it's look like it's directly going to the right it's also slanted meaning that it's also going up for the y part so since it's going up continuously it's also going to be continuous meaning going forever so positive infinity so that's our range now again whatever value you get inside a log as long as it's positive then our range will be between negative infinity to infinity now in here it's a parenthesis on the 7 because it's x greater than 7 we cannot use 7 because if we plug in 7 into x minus 7. So again, if we plug 7 into it, it's going to be 7 minus 7. That's going to make it 0. And therefore, we're going to have a log of 0, which is going to be undefined. Which, if you put, put in log of 0, it will say invalid input or error. So it won't work. So that's why we use parenthesis on the 7. Now, in example 2, we have h of x equals log of x plus 3 minus 2. So again, it's pretty much the same as this one. So x plus 3 has to be greater than 0. And then I'm solving for x. So x has to be greater than negative 3. Alright, so if it's greater than negative 3, then our domain is negative 3. And again, parenthesis, because here's why. If I plug in negative 3, into x, that's going to show negative 3 plus 3. And negative 3 plus 3 is 0. We can't have that. So that's why we use parentheses. And then again, x has to be greater than negative 3. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So that's why it's going to be towards positive infinity. So there's our domain. Now let's do our range. So again, it's pretty much the same as this graph. Regardless that if it's plus 5 or minus 2, regardless if it's up or down, it's still going to be continuous on the bottom half of the graph. So again, regardless if the graph is moving up because of the plus 5 or moving down because of the minus 2, it's going to be continuous at the bottom. So at the bottom, it's going to be negative infinity. And then also on the top half, even though it's going towards the right, it's still going to be continuous going upward, 
So if it's continuously going upward, it's going to go to positive infinity. So that is our domain and range for our second example. So example three, we have m of x equals negative log of x plus 4 then plus 11. Now what's different is that we have a negative in front of log, so it just simply means it's reflected over the x-axis. But we still have to pay very close attention on what's inside with the x, so x plus 4. So again, x plus 4 has to be a positive number, so greater than 0 when it comes to domain and range. So I'm solving for x. So x is greater than negative 4. So any numbers greater than 4 plugged in here, it will just give you any number that's more than 0. So that's good. So domain is, again, negative 4. And then any numbers more than that. So any numbers, that mean all the numbers, so towards positive infinity. And again, cannot use negative 4, so we have to use parentheses. If I plug in negative 4, it makes the whole thing 0, and therefore it's going to be undefined or invalid. Now, what's different with the function is, again, we have that negative in front of log. But, again, regardless of what value you get in here, you can still get negative y values or negative, I mean positive y values. So, again, our reflection is simply this. This is what happens when it's reflected. So, if we were to talk about it parts by parts, the left side upward is going continuously, so positive infinity. This is the y. But we still have to focus on the bottom part. So it's going downward, even though it's slanted to going towards the right, it's still going downward continuously. So again, this is our y value, so it's going towards negative infinity. So if it's continuous upward, it's going to positive infinity. If it's continuous going downward, it's going negative infinity. So our range, start with the bottom, so negative infinity, towards the top, which is positive infinity. So now, we have our domain and range for log of, negative log of x plus 4 and then plus 11. Let's talk about p of x, or example 4, p of x equals negative log of x minus 6 minus 18. So, again, to figure out our domain, we got to make sure that x minus 6 has to be greater than 0. So x minus 6 greater than 0. To solve for x, plus 6 plus 6. So x is greater than 6. So any numbers greater than 6, it will work. So that means our domain is 6 to infinity with parentheses. Our range. So again, it has a negative, so it's basically just similar to this graph. And I like before in example 1 and example 2, regardless if it's plus 11 or minus 18, Regardless if it's shifting up or down, it's still going to be continuous going upward, and it still will be continuous going downward. So pretty much, it's still going to be the same in values, in behavior, for the range. So our bottom is going to be negative infinity, and our top will be positive infinity, both parentheses. So again, regardless if it's plus 11, meaning that it's going up 11, or minus 18 going down 18, it's still going to be continuous on both ends, so our range will be negative infinity to positive infinity. So here's our domain and range for example 4. Now we have example 5. f of x equals log of negative of x plus 8, then minus 2. So what's different is now we have a negative inside the outer parentheses, and it's in front of x. So we have to make sure to focus on this when it comes to domain. So I'm going to underline this. Now, since we have a negative inside the outer parentheses and it's in front of x, we're going to take the whole thing that's inside the outer parentheses. So, negative x plus 8. So what we're going to do now with that negative, we're going to distribute. So now it's negative x 
minus 8. And then whatever comes out, so what number we plug in the x, whatever comes out, has to be greater than 0. So any making sure that it comes out positive, so then when it goes in here, then what's inside a log is our positive number, not 0, not negative numbers, in order for it to work. So first we need to get x by itself. So plus 8 on both sides. So now we have negative x greater than positive 8. And then we're going to divide by negative 1 because we need x to become positive. Alright. So negative x divided by negative 1, that's a positive x. And first of all, when we divide both sides by a negative number for inequalities, it's going to flip. So it's greater than, so you see how it opens to the left. Now it's going to be less than, opens to the right. That only happens when you divide both sides by a negative number. So then 8 divided by negative 1 is negative 8. Alright, we got our x. Now it says that x is less than negative 8. So less than negative 8, that's negative 9, negative 10, negative 100, negative 1000, negative 100 million, and so on. So that means that our domain is going to start off with negative infinity and then it's going to go up towards negative 8 and then it has to be parentheses on a negative 8 the reason is if I plug in negative 8 here negative 8 plus 8 is 0 and once you have that it won't work so we cannot use negative 8 that's why it's parentheses so if I were to show you graph So, here is like negative 8. It's going to go towards it, but not touch it. That's why it's going to be also parentheses. Now, if we were to talk about the range, we see that it's continuous on the bottom half because it has an arrow. So, the down arrow, which is for the y, is going to go towards negative infinity. If we focus on the top part, even though it's going straight to the left it's also slanted meaning that it's also going up continuously because it has an arrow and that, again that's for the y since it's going up it's going towards positive infinity so for our range the bottom part is continuous going downward so it's negative infinity and then the top part of the graph is going upward continuously, so positive infinity. Both parentheses. So here's our domain range for log of negative of x plus 8, then minus 2. Alright, example 6. Same process, because now we have log of negative of x minus 5, and then plus 9. So, we're going to focus on the inside of the outer parentheses. So what we're going to do is we're going to write out negative of x minus 5 and then distribute the negative so negative x plus 5 and then whatever comes out from this it has to be greater than 0. Now we have to figure out what x can be. So minus 5 both sides so we get x alone so negative x greater than negative 5 and then I'm going to divide by negative 1 because we need a positive x so negative x divided by negative 1 a positive x and since I divide both sides by a negative number I gotta flip the sign of the inequality sign so it's going to face the opposite direction negative 5 divided by negative 1 is a positive 5 so x is less than 5 so less than 5 4 3 2 1 negative 5 negative 10, negative 20, and so on. So that means our domain is going to start off with negative infinity for the left and then up to positive 5. Again, parentheses. And then now we're going to do our range. So again, the graph will be similar to what we have here. But instead of going towards negative 8, it's going to be 
close to positive 5. But again, it's going to be continuous because it has arrows at the end. So regardless if it's minus 2 moving down 2 units or plus 9 moving up 9 units, the graph is still continuous because the top part has an arrow going upward continuously to positive infinity. The bottom part has an arrow, so it's going down towards negative infinity. So basically, regardless of where the graph is positioned, they both have the arrow, so both ends will go into positive infinity and negative infinity. So for the range, we we're going to focus on the bottom part first. So the bottom is negative infinity, and then the top part is positive infinity. So here's our range. Now for example 6, our domain is negative infinity to 5, and our range is negative infinity to positive infinity. That's the domain range for example 6.